people that don't believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, they actually think that when God sends out his angels to gather his elect, that's when we get snatched up. That we are not God's elect. We are not God's chosen people. We are God's children. All through the book of John, I don't mean the gospel of John, the book of John, read all through it. He explains it. By the blood of Jesus Christ, you have been become one in Christ. You are now children of God. You're not the elect, just like what we read. You're no longer a Jew or a Gentile. You're no longer free or a slave. You're no longer a male or a female. You're a new creation. You are something that never walked this earth before until Jesus Christ died, resurrected, and sent back the Holy Ghost. We are now temples of the Holy Ghost who lives in us. That is a new creation in Christ. Listen, think, think of this. There was one temple in Jerusalem that the Holy Ghost lived in. And before that, he lived in, he was in tabernacles as they moved across the desert. They built a temple. They put the Ark of the Covenant there. And that's where the mercy seat is. That's where the Holy Ghost was. Now, that blood of Jesus Christ has paid for that once and for all. Now the Holy Ghost has came out from behind the veil and is now in us. The same Holy Ghost that was in behind the veil now lives in me, now lives in you. That's never happened before on the face of this earth. None of the Old Testament saints had it. Nobody before Jesus Christ had it. But when Jesus died, paid the price, completed his job, sent back the Holy Ghost to live in us, how, how can we express to people who are truly the temple of the Holy Ghost how special we are and how, listen, <laughs> for all eternity, for all eternity, he's going to write his name on our forehead. His name, his it's name. Listen, awesome. don't, it don't matter. Huh? It's beyond words. Well, listen, it don't matter where we are. We could be out there six billion miles away in this universe exploring <laughs> all of a sudden some 50-foot creature walks behind us and we turn around and they see Jehovah's name, they'll fall to their knees and say, oh, don't kill us. Don't kill us. You are children of God. And, and we can't, our little minds can't wrap around who we truly are in Christ. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you how special we are to God. 